Hey Jonathan, are you here for the comms call or the metrics call? Because we had a conflict. Ah, uh, the metrics link. Yeah, let's repost mm. that. But it's nice to see people. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I, I can do that. Hang on. Take a look in the chat, Jonathan. Yeah, we're going to record it, Jonathan, so you can listen back at 2x speed <laughs> if you want. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, I um, I'm glad to see everybody here. And um, this call came out of a chat that I was having with Nicole and Elizabeth in Seattle at the Open Source Summit. And we wanted to see if there's anything we could do to mainly just to synchronize and theme our communications so that each uh, bit of effort that goes into comms has a little bit more impact and, and we can share resources and feel that uh, we can, can see the progress and how it's joined up with the stuff that we're doing. Um, it might also make things a little easier for getting folks to help us promote stuff if there's a little bit more of a um, thread running through things and, and then we can then ask people to to join in but that's as far as we got with that conversation and we just wanted to continue that and invite anyone else in to join with that conversation today so in the doc i might just share the share my screen because i know not, not everyone looks like they're in the doc right now <clears throat> so what i wanted to, to do is so our first objective is achieved <laughs> already fantastic <laughs> Connected Yay, success. <laughs> Yay, one out of 24 <laughs> successful so far. Um, understand skills and availability because I don't I don't know about I don't know about what everyone does um, or has done in this kind of space. And it'd be great to, to know like, oh, who could I reach out to about this thing or that thing? Um, and then if we can spend some time talking about like what do we think this group should be for and then what should we start looking at first? How does that sound? Anyone want to add anything? I mean, look good for me. Yeah, for me too. Looks like a good okay. start. Let's do it. I'm just going to add notes just right away. Can I edit this? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add notes under each one. And um, rather than just doing it another way. So we have here Alice, we have Nicole, we have Mary Blassie, and we have Oluchi. I hope I'm saying your name right, just feel free to correct me if I'm not. Is that right? Yeah, got it. Um, so Nick, who else is in the dock with me? I, you, I am. Yeah. Nicole, if I say a little bit, would you mind making some notes? Because I just honestly don't think I can talk and type at oh, the same time. It, yes. Let me get, um, go out of full screen for our meeting and I'll but okay. I'm I'm over in the in the dock now. All right, so perfect. And I can take notes for the other people. It's it's only uh, for me. Um so I've spent the last um four years or so doing developer relations, so I'm pretty um versatile in the technical marketing side of things. I'm, I'm quite um, used to doing persona development, marketing, messaging, campaigns, events, podcasting, um, live streaming, not, I mean, more managing it than doing it, although I am now doing the podcasting for chaos. And um, I'm pretty good at copywriting. I'm adequate at graphic design, a little bit rusty um what else um yeah i mean that's probably that's probably enough for now <laughs> i wouldn't be the person to be doing technical demonstrations is probably what i would say but um but yeah and i don't do a lot of social media because um i, I just that's not really a big part of my life cool okay. so let me make some notes for you nicole what, do, what, what would you like to share about your Sure. Um, I was still sorry. I you said so, not social media. Yeah. Okay. Not so much social media. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so um, the, and this will kind of, um, uh, so I've spent, what, um, about 15, 14 years at Intel. I'm no longer at Intel. Um, at Intel, I was in the Open Source Technology Center and in specifically in the advocacy and community group um, or team. I, and gosh, it's, it's almost easier to talk about what I haven't done. Um, because I've 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 done quite a quite a few different things. Um, PR is not my specialty. I've worked alongside folks who it is, um, but it's not one of mine. Um, I'm really you know I I what I love to do. I guess I'll start there. What I love to do is to come up with stories and to highlight people. And so I was at the Linux Foundation for two years after Intel. And I left the Linux Foundation um, because I was more interested in a passion project. And that passion project called She Lights the Way is focused on elevating underrepresented women, unsung women. Um, for much of my career at Intel, I was focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and telling the stories of underrepresented people, um, which then led to uh, my podcasting, and so I, I'm a, I do podcasting, social media, writing, messaging, storytelling. Um, I'm not, so here's another thing I'm not, I'm not, I am not a, although I do designs and stuff for She Lights the Way, I'm not an actual professional um, artist or designer or any of that thing because I've worked with those folks too and that also is not me. Um, so PR and, and design, not really me, I can do it, but it, it's not, I wouldn't consider it a strength. Um, so that's, that's uh, me. And Nicole, I, I, I just, I think it would be useful to say, what do you do with chaos currently? Oh, yes. So I first, when I was at Intel and I was in working in, and it was more, I was in marketing or advocacy for Intel and for our open source projects and all of the projects we participated in. A lot of my passion was in DE&I, which is what initially got me, um, I've been at, at Chaos since the beginning. Um, and, and that's initially what got me into uh, chaos when they were forming the chaos project. Um, that's that's initially why I came to chaos, and it's interesting because in she lights the way. Don Foster and I actually have have a discussion about what led us into chaos. For her, is more the data and metric side. For me, it was more the DE and I side. So I've been involved with things earlier, like the diversity, equity, inclusion group, like badging, um, you know, and those things that would have a, uh, that would sort of interlap or, or interweave with, with elevating underrepresented voices. Does, does that help? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Um, and I didn't, uh, I didn't mention how, like, what my availability is. Uh, availability. Oh my goodness. Um, so I probably, I'm doing the podcast a bit, but I, you know, I have a few hours per week available. I would say up over and above the podcast, which is already a couple. Um, what, what's your 
bandwidth like at the moment? My availability, I, I would say a, um, a few, I would say the same, um, a few, few hours a week. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Mary Blessing, would you like to say a little bit about like what your skills are, what you don't do, what you've done at Chaos and what your availability is? I've expanded to four points now. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, hmm. so for me, I okay, my skills. I have I have more. I have strengths in community building, management, community ops, community operations, um, project management as well, um, event hosting, um, moderator, <laughs> yeah, moderating sections, panel sections. Uh, then I've done a little bit of MC, so <laughs> yeah, I have all of these skills. Um, but with chaos, um, I, I, I would say I have been on the community and project management side of things. Um, I do support time to time, you know, uh, when it comes to planning of events, um, both virtual and our physical um, events. Um, then I, I also have been in the DEI side of things, you know, but not, I, I have not really like um, explored the DEI working groups as much as I would want to. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I, I do more of the budget. Then for my availability, I would say um, six to eight hours a week. Um, yeah. For, uh, for, for the comms and marketing group. Yes, sure. Okay, and is there anything that you you wouldn't want to get get asked to do skills wise? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I always love to learn and explore. I, I think recently I've been um, trying to, you know, see how um, you know the data and metric side of things, how that works. So, uh, and research as well. So I wouldn't mind, you know, getting involved in those um, just to, um, you know, support and, you know, on my own end, maybe on my on my skills in that, in those areas as well. Yeah. Uh, so you said uh, you'd like to learn more about research and you said something else, but I didn't catch it. Oh, data. Data, okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Um, Oluchi, would you like to say a little bit about um, the skills you have? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Right. So, hi. My name is Oluchi Wankwo, and um, currently I contribute to Chaos Africa as a social media manager and also a content developer. So my skills involve communications, um, social media, like I major like full-time social media management and um, strategies, uh, sorry, and strategy. And also I create content for, for a few platform Instagram, Twitter, and a little bit of LinkedIn. So yes, I I think that is like my skills for now. Mm -hmm. And also, I have helped with um, organizing the Chaos Corn Africa, the first one I participated as. I think that was where I fully like I started like party um contributing to Chaos Africa and um I started contributing to Chaos Africa as the social media manager and also content creator. So I decided to like just take that responsibility full time. Uh, my availability for the week um is seven to no sorry. Seven to eleven hours a week per week, rather. Wow, that's amazing. I feel like 
between us, we, we could actually do some really um, impactful stuff with that amount of time that, that we have between us. Um, cool. Well, should we talk a little bit about um, what we what we would really like this group to be able to achieve? Um, you know, what we think we should we let's say it's the four of us, and maybe we can get a few more people involved once we start to show like that it's fun and cool. Um, what would what would you all like to, to see us achieve as a group? What would get you excited? I I can go first if you like, Alice. Um, yeah. One of the observations, uh, Alice, you first mentioned that this call came out of a conversation that uh, you and Elizabeth and I were having in Seattle at the Open Source Summit. And one of the observations that I had there was chaos, the chaos project seems to be really attractive, really appealing to many different people. So this was at the booth that we had, that Chaos had there, where time and time again, it seemed like people were coming up not aware of what the Chaos Project is, but once they found out what it was, they were really, really interested in it and big proponents of the project. So it, it seems like we have lower awareness, yet people are would be really, if they were aware of it, they would be really proponents of the project. That was my observation anyway, what, while I was there. So I guess that's a um, kind of a lead in, yeah, right, is that how can we, um, how, yeah, how can we increase awareness? Because I think then, yes, exactly, that would then lead to greater engagement um, in in the project, even if it's just, you know, a, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, lots of time from different community members, as we've seen, right? But, but it would mean more people engaged uh, in the project. So that that's, kind of where my head goes when when I think about, gosh, it would be so great if we could really see an incremental increase in in awareness of of the project. And so how do we how do we go do that? Um, and I've got a couple of different ideas, but that's sort of where where I'm sitting in my in my head right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Nicole. Um, uh, Oluchi, would you like to jump in with some thoughts? Oh, sorry, Mary Blessings raised her hand, but let, uh, I, I just invited Oluchi, so let me just um, see if she would like to say, and I'll come to you in a moment, Mary Blessing. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Hi. Uh, hello? Hello. Okay, so um, what I think about is since you're just starting out this particular um focus group, I think we we need to first of all, I don't really know if it is for the general um chaos project itself because I I noticed that we have um or rather I know that we have um different chapters on that the chaos project so if it is for the um for the chaos project itself like general project itself i feel like we need to um draft out draft out our meetings day and also um decide on when we want to um like decide on um when and how we want to be meeting because um I feel like sometimes we might get really busy with whatever it is we're doing and then we might lose track or not be updated or I don't know, but something something like that. Another one that I would love to like contribute is 
also we can we can decide to say something during the general community that is on Tuesday, the general community hangout about our uh, um, this new focus group because a lot of, I, I feel like maybe a lot of people don't really know much about us so that way we can get more people that, that are interested in whatever it is we are doing and from there we can easily distribute um, tasks and also um, make the work more easier and something like that so I, I think for now that is what I would love to like contribute on um, I'm just making some some notes here to get better visibility and um, help. So, are you your first comment alluded to was about um, the comment about chapters versus the core chaos project, and is that really to do with wondering how we're going to uh, reach everybody, or is it more around um, will communications be around the core chaos project? project or more around the chapter side of things do you want to just clarify a little bit where, which of those two you yeah know? I, I think what I'm trying to like understand is this focus group is it for the general chapter I'm sorry for the general project itself or is it that whatever it is we're going to be doing we're also going to try to um I don't know how to put it, but I feel maybe I'm trying to like say our activities, is it just going to be based on um whatever the general project is saying, like the pro um the umbrella itself, like I think I'm I'm finding it very difficult to articulate my thoughts here. I I think I I can see where you're going with it. I think you're what you're really asking and, and Nicole can help me out with this because Nicole, I know you've worked in like sort of global marketing side of things before, yeah. but that is it something that that we want to support um, across all of chaos, including the chapters, or is it that we expect chapters to 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 um, you know do their own thing, or or is it a sort of yeah, cross cross? Exactly, I think I think two? I think you just you just said what I was going to say. Is it that yeah. we are going to like? Um, so, uh, we're going to just let the chapters be on their own and then they do whatever it is they want to do on their own and this particular focus group is just for the general house itself or whatever we are going to be doing we're going to be doing it for the general house yeah and also I, I, for the chapters too so that is what I'm and, trying to like understand yeah and your second comment was I think around how many meetings we should have and, and who should be in the meetings and whether we can make use of existing meetings to to not have too many is is that what you meant sorry i didn't i didn't get that part oh um you were asking about um whether this group our calls whether they would be well my what i thought you said was would we try to merge them with another call or maybe cross promote them in another call and i wasn't oh, no. totally sure oh, okay no no that was not what i meant i okay. i was saying right. I was saying if we could just do a little introduction during the next um, community call, which happens on Tuesday, about what the communications group are trying to do and all that stuff like that. And if there are people who are interested in also joining the movement, something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we definitely would do that. Um, just coming back to the question of how you know chapters fit into this picture i don't have a super clear idea of already what the working style is between those two so uh, i think that would be a really good first thing that we ought to try and work out um or, or or maybe we could at least understand it so that we can work towards having an answer <laughs> and i don't know if nicole do you have much of a view on that or, or maybe mary blessing and you've had your hand up for ages sorry Are okay. you, Alex? Uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, um, Alex, uh, so much. So, um, I think what I wanted to mention is that uh, the, the question was what these 
group would um, focus on, right? Mm. Um, moving forward. So, um, plus one to everything Nicole said. And uh, another thing that we wanted to talk about, or maybe we can consider, is um, recension, right? Um, as Nicole has mentioned, um, the Chaos Project itself is a very exciting one, right? Um, from afar, you hear what we do, and it's really exciting, and people want to jump on it. Um, but I don't think we've been able to like um, crack how to like really retain folks, right? Um, so when we started out the tour guide initiative, which I am currently leading, um, what we basically do is help people. Um, newbies in the community move from just exploring to making actual contributions and uh, most of my conversations with a lot of them because I try to like check in from time to time um, that time could be a very long time but I try my best <laughs> so one of the feedback I've gotten from the majority of them is that um, you know they come in it's very exciting you know they're welcomed and it feels like nothing happens afterwards nobody tries to know or if they are still involved. I mean, aside from the fact that I checked in with this person then, uh, they're like, um, is there is there a thing we are doing regarding retention, like how to like retain contributors uh, and even users of the of the um, chaos softwares, right? Um, I'm not really sure how it works with the software, right? Or go and remote lab, but I'm majorly speaking regarding contributors, right? Because that's those are the people I majorly like see. Um, as part of what I do as a community manager, right? So um, I think with the marketing theme, we can really work around ways, you know, to retain more contributors. And um, I mean, we're already doing good with making them feel welcomed, right? Um, so yeah, just do more of that and, you know, retain, retain those people as well. Um, set up some sort of, um, I don't know, um, strategies on how to make sure oh they are doing okay in the project and they are you know actually making meaningful contributions right then um, more more around advocacy and I think the chaos um, advocacy um, um, initiative that the community managers and working group has been working on could really help um, in that regard as well so um, those are my two cents uh, and um, regarding what Olu she talked about. I feel like if we're doing this, we are most likely going to be doing it for chaos as the project, then we can now, you know, um, sync with the chapters and, you know, they can adapt maybe models we would be setting up um, while, while, you know, doing whatever, like the work we'll be doing on the marketing team. Um, if we have maybe like template structures and models, this is something we can now pass on to the um, chapter communities, you know, to model after, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, just making a note. Uh, I can type. <laughs> um, so what I've noted is that you are interested in, in not only how do we better attract people and how do we initially engage them, but also how do we develop them as community members and make sure that they know how to contribute and they're supported to contribute and have a, a nice time and feel valued and feel that they are making a difference when they do that. And um, I think that it's really important because, you know, even with a traditional sort of product marketing organization, yes retention is is important um but in this case it's not you know it's not to try and get money from people but it's to try and build community and the value in the community and, and the work that, that we're doing um and i also noted down that you mentioned that one thing that we could think about with regard to the core chaos project and the chapters is how if, if we have this working group which is relatively chapter is separate from chapters we could help provide resources marketing style resources templates or, or anything else for the chapters so that they have less of an overhead um to you know and everything seems a little bit more consistent and and there's that shared sense of um uh, expertise that's, that's being used does that sound right to what you said absolutely 
Okay, cool. Um, so Nicole, I don't know if you would mind just um, jumping in and writing anything that I might say in this next part. Oh, for, for setting the priorities? Um, no, just because I haven't said what I wanted to get out of the working group or what I think the working group could do. And while I'm oh. chatting, I wondered if you would mind making any notes that come up. If you can oh, see where my sure. cursor is. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yes, 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 yeah. yes. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah, sorry, I, di I didn't um, understand. Okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so from my point of view, I feel like I feel that there might be a few quick wins that just popped up um, while we were at the conference. Look, I think there's a little more we can do to promote the mission of chaos at events. I think our our event our booth branding and, and um, so on. It, it doesn't really say what chaos is, and I would love it if we just um, could could add that. I think it will help to make the conversations a little bit more uh, productive. And equally, I would say, um, what was the other thing that sprung to mind? Oh, <laughs> since I started taking over the podcast, um, I need to have you know, like a pipeline of episodes and I don't really know what those episodes should be about so if we had a communications plan with a calendar of things that we wanted to talk about and we knew that there were events coming up and we knew that there were um, guides being written and we knew that there were blog posts being written or there were um, you know goals for the year that we have and maybe we could start to theme the content for the podcast around that. And equally, I think that could go both ways because um, if we are going to do events, then we can start to think about what um, what we want to talk about at the events. So that could feed into talk um, submissions, um, you know, CFPs, and it could also fit into what we ask people to write blog posts about and so on so for, for me I feel like um, if we can get that loop closed then everyone will feel a little bit of a benefit and if um, and I think the chapters hopefully would be able to, to benefit and also feed into that because they would be able to see oh this is kind of like we have a few themes for the year they might be based around the goals that we set for the year and that we would then be able to um also take input back from the chapters to say that well this is actually where we're seeing demand or interest or engagement and and let, let's feed that back in and, and maybe that could, could be a really beneficial loop hope that makes sense for me that absolutely um makes sense what i what I sort of say, I've been sort of scribbling notes, even on just a notepad here. And what I kind of am seeing or experiencing is like I'll, I'll have, because I am, I am on social media, like Don Foster is doing, you know, some great things, some great talks, right? I'm like, oh, wow, how is that being promoted? Or, you know, like, how are we amplifying that? Um, you know, there's a podcast, Alice, that, that you're doing. And I'm like, oh, wow, wouldn't it be great if, you know, there's such strength in numbers. Wouldn't it be great if, all, if, if we all... Um, within the chaos community if we had something to say oh wow next week there's going to be a podcast episode that publishes it's going to be about this topic here are a couple of different you know um themes or things that you can talk about in social around it um it, you know and and so like oh cool okay i'm i'm you know we're getting ahead of the game and we can actually then the community then becomes a a megaphone, if you will, for all of the different things that are happening. Oh wow, Dawn's going to this event and she's doing a talk on, 
X, Y, and Z, and oh, wow, you know, um, is, I mean, of course, the first thing that pops up there for me is, is the talk going to be recorded? And if so, when is that going to be available? And can we amplify that? Because then we have content to drive people to. And I think, Alice, this is all to say that the your idea around having a calendar and you know kind of getting ahead of things and knowing oh this is coming or oh wow this event you know i'll just kind of throw one out icon with the python programming language right oh wow that event is coming up could we even if we're not at the event is there, and I'm I'm completely making this up, making this up, right? Just as an example, but if we know of a couple of people in that community who are participating in chaos, or they've used some of the chaos metrics, or you know, could we do a a content piece of some sort, whether that's a podcast episode or a blog or something, but that coincides with that event, that then would help get us the awareness. And of course, this is more on the awareness rather than the retaining folks, which I also totally, totally agree with. Um, but yeah, is there a calendar that we can say, okay, these are the events that are important to us, um, you know, and and plan some content around those events. I mean, that's just that's just one, you know, one one example. But but the 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 overarching uh, thought being, do we have a um, a calendar, you know, one of the things that, that, and I, I don't mean to be monopolizing the conversation at all, but, you know, as we see, like, oh, Dawn posts something in social, she's going to be at Open UK, or, you know, oh, this person is doing this over here. One of the things that's occurred to me is, do we have a central place? and it would kind of feed into a calendar. Um, do we have a central place to collect these things instead of them being kind of these one-offs, right? Do, is, there a, there is, is there a central place to collect this stuff and can we provide our community with ways to, to tell us, right, so that Maybe it's not always us who are, you know, kind of spreading the wealth, sharing the wealth. Maybe it's not always us who is putting it in the calendar or in the calendar or in the this central place. But it, it, could we provide a mechanism for the community to share those things ahead of time, such that we can then do something, amplify them in in some way. Yeah, yeah, I think that's um, that makes sense, and it, it it agrees, I think, with what other people have been saying on the call. And I wanted to just highlight that Mary Blessing had um, also made a comment in the chat about reputation branding, reputation management, which I completely agree with. Um, I would also just comment that although I think retention should be one of the one of the ways we measure whether the work we're doing is impactful. I think we have to acknowledge that comms is only part of retention strategy. Um, and, you know, it, it also needs to be kind of coming from, we, what I mean is we, we don't necessarily want to start straying outside of comms um, if we want to stay effective as a group, but we do want to look at both, you know, attract yeah, um, <clears throat> attracting people and also retaining people, and I think that's how I see it fitting together. Um, I think in the doing? 2024 um, goals. Yeah, so let's I, I, um, let's. The, the, they've made those. We've. I think we've made those different things. I think I. I need to go back and look, but the, yeah. that would be a great place to start. 
we have look we have the goals here I don't know if you can see this oh um, awesome so let me just put a let me grab the link and i'll just put it in here um i guess it doesn't matter too much where it goes i just i had a couple of thoughts on what the priorities seem to me at the end of this call i'm just going to jot them down quickly and then um, if you want to add anything um, either just feel that you can just write it straight in there or, or see what you think about what I've written and then you can tell me to add more or change it. <laughs> um, so I think we need to create a, what's the best way of describing this? Um, I guess a, 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 a mission for the group based on what we said above. So I'm thinking that we come into the next call with a mission written for critiquing. Um, and I'd be happy to do that, you know, so that would be like, write up a mission based on notes from this call. Um, and then I think feed, feed back to um, community call because we want to keep them involved with everything. Um, and then set a second call, I suppose, so we can review the mission and then start to align that with the goals. Uh, Maybe, maybe what would we do like um form a plan by aligning this with goals what do you think it's, it's still quite high level perhaps for mary blessing what do you think about do we, would be there our priorities you know at the end of this call today to do what would our next steps Are you still there, Mary Blessing? Oh, <laughs> let's go to Alucci. She's got a hand up. I'm not muted, am I? No. Alucci, go ahead. I don't know if you're speaking, you're muted. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear you. Okay, so um, our next um, priority is well, that what you asked. Yes, I think so. So for the next, um, um, I think it was Nicole that was saying we should create like um, you know, try to collate this whatever it is we are doing in a particular, in a particular document, so that we are going to like have something that um keeps track of whatever it is we are doing. So I don't know if we can create a repository on on GitHub, or maybe we can we can create a Google Sheet or a Google document for whatever it is, whatever strategy we are coming up with, whatever um, ideas or anything at all. We can just use it as, a, a, I, can, I think we can call it a idea bank for the, um, for the, for the group. So we can create something like that so that we are going to um we're going to be able to keep track of whatever it is we are talking both in the both in the meetings and on the group itself so i think we can create something like that also so i don't know where we can create where we can have that maybe on github repository or i'm sorry on github or maybe we can use the normal google sheet and google docs for that and another one I would want to say is to start working on, um, I would want to call it content ideas, whatever content ideas, visual, um, written, um, audio or whatever it is. We can also like start um, brainstorming or something like that. I remember when Elizabeth said something about um, us having, there is this particular sheet, this um, social sheet for chaos project. So we can also like 
go through the particular sheet. I don't, I think I, I have that uh, particular sheet. Maybe I might drop it on the group. You can also like go through that sheet to have, have like an idea of what the previous like communications group were doing before. So those are the things I want to like say. I, I think those are great ideas. Thank you. Um, so you were saying look at um, previous work. Oh, we've lost Mary Blessing. Okay. I think she went off a network or something. It's I mean it's not a problem uh, as long as it was I don't know if it was by accident, but uh, we're nearly at the end of the call, so I think this is fine. Um okay, so any more thoughts, Nicole? Yeah, I um I feel like it would it would be a good idea to go and, and look at the the documents that we have for the 2024 priorities. Um, I'm looking at the one, the link that, that you posted, um, Alice, and the we did we did set these separately. So goal number two for 2024 is grow the chaos user community. Yeah. Uh, and Goal number three is actually increased collaboration within the contributor community. And so okay. I feel like, yeah, what we're what we're focused on, and I would agree with who posted, who said, yeah, Mary Blessing, um, who said branding and reputation management, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think that will also feed into an earlier question about you know often in in corp on the corporate side of things you've got this headquarters versus geos or regions or chapters right and like how do they work together um and i think that whole branding and reputation management also feeds directly into what we come up with as an answer or a solution there um so yeah, so looking at the priorities um, and and truly saying, okay, so here's what we said the priorities were. What are you know what what tangible next steps do we take to achieve what the this 2024 priority is? Um, and I think what we may find is that, you know, there's there's the things that already exist that I feel like we can assess, and some of them are like the the podcast or the blogs that are happening or the events that are people are going to and that sort of thing, and even like what Elizabeth sent to us in in Slack. Like I I need to take a deeper look at that um, to see okay, so what has been done and 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 what exists and kind of do that assessment of where are we today, right? What What's kind of our baseline? And then how can we either make things, things more impactful? Kind of, it's almost like low hanging fruit, right? Yeah. Where we say, okay, yeah. Like we, we amplify what's already in flight, right? What's already, you know, what's already working, what's already there. And then look at, Okay, so so we've done that piece. What's missing? What gaps do we have? What what gaps do we need to fill in? And and Alice, you pointed to one of them. What is chaos? We don't have a. And remember, we are we were talking about this in the twenty twenty four goals. We don't actually have a pitch, an elevator pitch. What mm -hmm. is chaos, and why do we exist? Right. And and so that might be a really good one to to get dig into, because what I found at, at the booth at Open Source Summit was I was describing it was interesting to listen to how each of us was describing chaos differently. I yeah. describe it differently than Don describes it. Right. Yeah. Then you describe it, you know, and and how do we how do we develop something that we can all speak to wherever we are? We're at an event or we're 
what what have you, right? And I think part of that is consistency in the chaos story. And that feeds into our global branding that we're consistent yeah. wherever we are in the world. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah. Nicole, sorry to cut in. Um, we just have a couple yeah. of minutes left and I don't want us to go over if that's possible. Um, so yeah. I have a couple of actions that I'm happy to take here. Um, now, Oluchi, I think the one below was a suggestion from you. It's probably the one that is, takes the most work, but do you want to um, make a start on that one? And, and maybe put together a, I know you mentioned GitHub and, and a Google Doc or Sheet, that's totally up to which you prefer. My, I think it's slightly quicker and easier to do a Google Sheet, but it doesn't, you know, there are drawbacks as well. So um, what do you think about, okay. about starting that? Yeah, sure. sure, I will be happy to take it up. I have to put start to just because it sounds like a huge job. Um, and let us know if you if there's anything we can do to help with that because I'm not sure how I would start doing that so I feel that it uh, could be a bit daunting. Okay. Um, um, Nicole was there anything that you feel um, motivated and sort of inspired to take on? Yeah um, it, maybe it's assessing what's already there or what's already what already exists um in terms of maybe resources coming back with yeah in terms of resources what elizabeth gave to us um you know some of the things that are already yeah yeah r resources and maybe what's already happening out there and then um then then we as a team can think about okay well how do we make these things more impactful okay um, so if I've said there, like what can be refreshed um, slash yeah. uh, like made more impactful. Cool. Well, I think it would be good to meet again maybe in two weeks. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks sounds okay. All right. I will um, see if I can organize that or I might reach out to Elizabeth to help with the scheduling of some of this stuff just to um, make it easier possibly. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, yeah. everybody. That was so great to have you Thank all on the you. call. And I feel like there's uh, a lot we can do. All right. Well, you all yeah. have a great rest of the day. And I'll Thanks, you too. This has been great. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.